This live action. Live action. This live. <laughs> oh, yes, recording. Okay. Hello, world. My name is Jay. And I'm back with yet another video. And as you can see by the title of the video, you already know what the topic is about. It's really frustrating and disappointing when I see people that I've grown to know in the gym for years that struggle with their fitness goals. For example, I know a guy, he's about 5'8", 250. His goal is to get down and get you know, cut up, get nice and toned, but looks the same after a year. Another example, I know a guy who's 5'11", 6 feet, about 150, skinny dude, wants to gain mass, get bigger. Met him for a year, a year later, looks the same. And the crazy thing about it is both of these guys blame the same exact thing. What is it? It's their metabolism. They blame their goddamn metabolism. When little do they know that metabolism isn't the reason why you're not gaining weight. <laughs> metabolism isn't the reason why you're not losing weight. There is an exception to the rule. Some people do have a phenomenon called hypothyroidism in which the thyroid gland, which is responsible for setting your basal metabolic rate, is impaired and it's not functioning at the best of its abilities. Therefore, you may need some synthetic hormones. You may need uh, HRT, I mean not HRT, TRT, thyroid replacement therapy to boost up your metabolism. That's the only exception to the rule. Anyways, I feel like the reason why people have this blaming is because they lack the knowledge. You know, so we tend to, in order to mitig mitigate inadequacy, we tend to just throw shade on certain topics or throw shade on certain things. With that being said, people who can't gain weight, people who can't lose weight, tend to lose metabolism. That's BS. When I'm not I'm tell you like this. First things first, metabolism. What is metabolism? Guys, metabolism is the metabolism is life. Metabolism is the process by which your body converts food and water that you consume into energy for a usable form. Okay. All of our organs need energy. All of our cells. All hundred trillions of cells that we have in our body require energy to function. They are living. Like I said, I'll say it one more time. Metabolism, the process in which food and water that we consume is converted into a usable energy form for our cells. Now, as we dive deeper into it, we have what's called BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. That was going to vary and set the difference between one person's metabolism and another person's metabolism. And there's a study, I believe it's by the University of Vermont. Don't quote me on that. I actually do have this study. I'll link it in the uh, description box. But the study measured population average. And they took note that the average population metabolism ranges between 1,700 calories to 2,300 calories. Say this one more time. Average person population, average person population. The average person metabolism ranges between 1,700 calories and 2,300 calories. So the people who are in first place of the metabolic race, or metabolic race, run, track, marathon, whatever you want to call it, are about 2,300 calories. Those are the people who can eat whatever they want and gain weight. And then you have the people with the slow metabolism, the tortoise, who are at last place of the metabolic racetrack or marathon, 1,700 calories, who tend to, and you need to gain weight. But you got to realize something. These are still finite numbers. They're not variable numbers or they're not numbers that you can't measure. You get what I'm saying? So we all have a genetic set point of our metabolism due to our genetic code given at birth which told cells to perform at a certain capacity it's like a, an instruction menu is given to you and it tells you everything you need to know on 
and then that's going to determine your daily metabolic rate, BMR, calorie you burn at rest due to your basic physiological functioning. My lungs receiving oxygen, that takes energy to do so. Me to move my eyes, that takes energy to do so. My heart beating takes energy to do so. My lungs removing waste from the blood takes energy to do so. My kidneys filtering blood takes energy to do so. Me uploading this video and you watching and comprehending takes a bit of energy to do so by the brain. That's all that we got. BMR, that's our basal metabolic rate. It does vary from person to person. Now, I want you to keep that basal metabolic rate fresh in your head and add energy expenditure. Energy expenditure. Energy expended in your day-to-day -day physical activity. So you got your basic metabolic rate, it varies from person to person. Then you have your energy expended in your daily physical activity, which is going to be your TDE. For example, me for example, I know to maintain my body weight without working out, my TDEE needs to be at 2,000 calories. If I go over that, no working out, okay, I start working out, okay? My TDE, in order to maintain my body, it had to be at 2,000 calories. I know this because I learned my body over the years. If I go over 2,000 calories, I gain weight. If I go under 2,000 calories, I lose weight. Now, you can take somebody of a similar body weight, similar height, and his maintenance calories for him to maintain his body weight might be 2,300. His maintenance calories might be 2,400. There's other factors that play a role, including muscle tissue, which is much more metabolically active than fat tissue. Muscle uh, burns 50 calories per day, whereas fat burns 5 calories per day, per pound. So that makes that plays a huge role as well. But anyway, like I said, 2,000 calories, go over that, I gain weight. Go under that, I lose weight. Everybody's different. Somebody else, um, basal metabolic rate may be at 1,700. Someone else may be at 1950. Someone else may be at 2020. You have to find and understand and learn through experience, trial and tribulation, your basal metabolic rate. Once you understand this, you can hack the metabolism because you then know how much I need to eat to actually gain weight and not what somebody tells me, not what a, a calculator tells me. You know because it varies from person to person. So a calculator can't really answer that question for you. Only you can answer it through your experience. With that being said, I hope you've learned something. I hope you've understood what metabolism is. I hope you understood what BMR is, TDEE, and stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you how to hack your metabolism now that you know what your basal metabolic rate is, well, I'm going to show you how to find out your basal metabolic rate. All right? Peace!